Now, VCA fails solve a row of very unique problems in Cubase. These tracks have many functions, but in this video I would like to concentrate on a very specific application. In order to do so, I created this drum loop. And as you can see, I already colored some tracks. So the kick and the snare are orange and the two kinds of heads are blue and then we have a bass that has a different color. So let's open the mixer with F3 and here you can see the tracks that I created. Kick, snare, heads, heads, bass. And you can see that these tracks all have a volume level that stands at a very unique position. What's also unique about these tracks is that they have a very unique volume ratio. And let's say you would like to turn down the volume of each of these tracks so that the output is a bit quieter. The worst thing that you could do is dial down the volume of each of these tracks individually because like this you would totally mess up the relationship that all of these tracks have to each other. So a better way to approach this would be to select all of these tracks, activate the Q link and then move down one of these faders and as you can see the relationship between these faders stays in the way. So let's put this a step further. Now you have the problem that you would only like to reduce the volume of kick and snare but not the rest. So what you could do would be to mark kick and snare, activate Q-Link again and then change the volume. But after a while this gets really annoying because every time you want to change the volume you need to go into the mixer and activate the Q-Link and this is going to be very time consuming after a while. So a better way to approach this would be to use a VCA fader. Just mark these tracks, right click and add VCA fader. And now we have a new channel with the green fader that we can also see in the project. Let's give it a name. Kick and snare relation. And when we go back into the mixer and press play, We can see that this fader now controls the kick and the snare without having Q-Link activated. And the same we could do with the hi-hats, so mark these tracks, add a VCA fader and play around with the volume. And we could even mark these two and add a new fader to these tracks, which we could call all drums. And look what happens now. So I hope you now have a basic understanding of what these faders do. There are much more detailed tutorials out there and if you need some more help you can check these out.